Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. So for today's video, we're going to be doing another doll ranking video and we are going to be starting the process of ranking all of the Bratz dolls. So semi-recently, I did a video where I ranked all of the Bratzilla's dolls and that was kind of like a little test to see if anybody would be interested in me doing Bratz rankings. And it went over pretty well, so we are going to start doing the regular Bratz dolls, which is a much bigger undertaking than the Bratzillas. There are so, so many Bratz dolls, but we are going to be getting started with that today. As always, I will be ranking based just on my opinion, so if you guys disagree with me, that is totally chill, it's not a big deal, and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, but yeah, just don't be mad if I rank your favorite doll poorly. It doesn't mean that it's objectively a bad doll, it just means that I don't like it, but I actually have like a list on my phone of all of the parameters that I had to have for the Bratz ranking because like there's way too many Bratz to do one video and like I just needed to have some sort of organization here. So I got all of the images from Lookin' Bratz. One of you guys directed me towards that site for like database images. So thank you for that. That was very helpful. Some of the images aren't super high quality. It's kind of hit or miss. So I apologize in advance for the lower quality images. I'm just working with what I could possibly find. And then those of you who are like Bratz fans probably know that a lot of Bratz dolls came in multiple different variations. Sometimes it would just be like the dolls are packaged a little bit differently so the actual box might have different words on it or maybe they're wearing outfit number one in the first variation and then in the second variation they're wearing outfit number two and the first outfit is like off to the side. On occasion there are items that are different in each variation so I'm only ranking like one doll if that makes sense from each one so like core Chloe. I'm not ranking all I think four of the variations of core Chloe. I'm just ranking one <laughs> and like the way that I decided to choose which one to use was I would look first at the image quality I would try to find the one that I thought had the best quality image and then from there I also tried to pick the one that I thought personally looked the best to try to give the brats like the best chance possible I hope that that makes sense it's just a little bit complicated with brats because they did have so many very slight differences in the releases um, so yeah, I'm I'm just ranking one variation, and then in a sort of similar vein, some dolls were released that were like nearly identical, but they got released under the same name. So for example, the second edition of like core dolls is also the line flaunt it. It's just that the core dolls have slightly less detail than the flaunt it line. So I'm not including the second edition dolls because they're basically just the flaunt it dolls, but worse. I'm just ranking flaunt it. Again, I feel like that is not going to make sense to anyone who's not a Bratz collector who hasn't like had cause to look into this. For some reason, Bratz is just like weirdly complicated with this to me. But yeah, so anytime that there was a doll that was like almost exactly re-released. I just picked the better version instead of doing the re-releases because it's like I'm gonna rank them the same anyway. There's no point in taking up like space and time in ranking the same doll twice. Um, we're almost there. I'm sorry. I know there's so much to get through here. I am only doing dolls. I'm not ranking any Bratz furniture or play sets or anything like that. Um, it's just the dolls and then I'm only doing regular Bratz. So I'm not doing the Bratz boys. I might do like a dedicated video for them later on, but just like to keep it organized because that's the way that the Lookin' Bratz website was organized. I'm just doing the regular Bratz dolls, no Bratz babies either, and no big Bratz either. So like the extra tall, like 24 inch ones. I'm not including those in this set. Again, if there are enough, I might do a dedicated ranking later, but there's just so many kinds of like Bratz merch and dolls and everything. So I really had to narrow it down to make this as easy and organized as possible. And then lastly, you will have seen this in the title, but I am ranking from 2001 to 2003, all of the releases within that time period. When I did my Monster High ranking series, I did it by character just because that was the easiest way to do that line, but with Bratz, I felt like it would be easier to go by year, so that, that way I could do whole lines at a time. And also because I feel like Bratz has a lot of characters that have 
kind of relatively few releases, but then also characters like Chloe and Jade and Sasha and Yasmin, like the main four, they have so many releases that it would have just been so much. So yeah, we're going by year instead of by character. And for this video, we are doing 2001 through 2003. And then obviously next part, we will pick up with 2004 and we'll see how far we get with that. But yes, I know that was so much explaining. I'm sorry, but like there was just a lot that I had to kind of get through so that you guys know what to expect from these videos. But now we can actually start ranking. Okay, so as always, I have my rankings set up in Procreate, and for Bratz, the tiers that we are going to be using are Perfect, Good, Just Okay, Questionable, Bad But It Gets Worse, and Burn It. Fair warning, like, I like some Bratz dolls, but I do feel like most of them, in my opinion, are, like, kind of more mediocre. Maybe this ranking will change that, maybe it will be going, like, better than I expected to, but, like... It also might not. <laughs> so just a fair warning there. Also, if you guys do enjoy the video, if you could give it a like, that's very helpful. And if you're new here and you enjoy my antics, you can subscribe so you can see more. But yeah, let's go ahead and start with the original Chloe and the original Jade. I do have like two dolls on most layers because there were so many that I had to get through, even covering just a couple of years. So the original Chloe, uh, her outfit, like the first outfit, I guess you would call it, the one that she's wearing in this image, I find unoffensive, but kind of boring to me. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of the tank top and the jeans are just jeans. The second outfit, I don't like. I think that's cow print. It looks like cow print to me. Maybe I'm wrong. And I don't think I've said this on this channel, but it's time to come out with a confession. And that's that I don't like cow print. Like, I really don't like cows. I actually used to have a pretty bad phobia of them, and I was, like, literally afraid to see a cow. And thankfully, it's gotten better. It's not, like, that intense anymore. But, yeah, I still don't love cows. So, Chloe, I need to get a rectangular selection here. Chloe's gonna start off not great, and she's gonna go into questionable. I don't, like, hate it, but I definitely am not into it. The Jade doll, I do think, is definitely cuter. I've always been partial to Jade, though. I think her hat's fun. You can't really see it super well in this image, but she does have a cat on her shirt, which is always a bonus point for me. Overall, her first outfit, I think, is pretty solid. The second outfit, I think, is quite boring, but, like, you know, sometimes the second outfit isn't always as exciting. I think I'm gonna put her into just okay. I know I was just saying good things about her, but I know it can get so much better, and... Like, these dolls were reproduced for, what, the 20th anniversary? And I didn't buy the Jade doll, because, like, I didn't like her enough to buy it. So I feel like Just Okay is a good ranking. Then we have the original Sasha and the original Yasmin. So Sasha, I actually love most of her pieces. I like the top. Her beanie's good. Her backpack's cute. Um, I like her extra top. It's the bottoms on both that I, like, am not as obsessed with. I think the white ones are just kind of boring, and also I'm not really, like into the capri length just doesn't work for me and i really want her to be wearing cargo pants but she's wearing like a cargo skirt which is fine like i'm sure there are people who love that i just am not obsessed um i do think she's got a lot of good pieces though and some good bones so she's gonna go into just okay as well and then yasmin's hard i feel like i have undergone a lot of like shifting when it comes to the aesthetics that I'm drawn to because even as recently as when these dolls were reproduced I was not interested in her look but now I'm kind of like it's cute it's not bad do I like it enough to put it in good though that's the question you know what I think I do I think I'm gonna try to play nice today <laughs> and I think I'm gonna put that in good I feel like she's got some pretty solid pieces there. Next up we have the beach party line. So we are going to be starting off with Chloe and then Jade. So Chloe, I don't know. I'm kind of bored. I've said this in like every single ranking video ever because I always have to mention it. I am not someone who is super obsessed with beach lines and then also pajama lines. There's nothing wrong with them. They just aren't as exciting to me as like a formal themed line or everyday dolls or even like seasonal like winter dolls I think are more exciting to me than like swim dolls so I'm not obsessed with this Chloe but I don't think it's anything with her like I don't think any of her pieces are ugly I think it's just that I don't love this type of doll so she's going in just okay and then looking at Jade I am feeling pretty much exactly the same way like there's nothing wrong with her but I would never purchase this you know 
So for my own ranking, that's a big question is like to look at it and say, would you buy this? And the answer is no. But she's not bad, so she's going in just okay. Then we have Sasha and Yasmin from the same line. Is Sasha wearing... Does she have the same pieces as one of the pieces that Chloe has? She does. I know it's super small. I'm so sorry. But look. I don't know if that's like because, again, there are so many different variations of some of these dolls. I obviously didn't notice it when I was going through. That is unfortunate. But, like, it's, I don't want to penalize Sasha's doll for that, because, like, that's not necessarily fair. She's also going to go in just okay. Okay, hold on. Yasmin also has Jade's second outfit. I feel like I don't know enough about Bratz to know what's going on here. <laughs> I'm flying into this ranking not knowing that much about these dolls, which is probably a dangerous thing to be doing. She's going to go in just okay as well. There's nothing offensive, but I'm just not excited. Then we have Flaunt It Chloe. I do like her outfit that she has on. That's cute. It's kind of basic, but like it's cute. And I do think a lot of Bratz clothing was relatively basic when you compare it to brands that I'm into. Like Monster High has very thematic clothing a lot of the time. So even if it's not detailed, it's like very themed. And like Rainbow High has a lot of detailed clothing. LOL, OMG has a lot of detailed clothing. So I think that comparatively the Bratz dolls of days past seem a little bit more simplistic, but that's not a bad thing. Like, they're done well, I think, at least sometimes. And in this case, the Chloe doll, I think it's done well. I don't like her second outfit, though. Uh, I'm going to put her into Just Okay. And I am literally just starting this video and already afraid that I might run out of room in that tier. <laughs> then we have Flaunt It Jade. How am I feeling? I think I want to be more enthused than I am. I like her silver pants just because it's kind of interesting. Her second top actually kind of reminds me of Twyla's color scheme, because I just recently unboxed her, so I think that's kind of on my brain. But honestly, I don't know. I don't love it. I don't know that I think any of it matches the best. I'm going to put her into questionable, and I feel bad, because, like, Jade was one of my favorite characters, but I'm, I'm just, I don't know. Then we've got Flaunt It Sasha, and this is cute. Oh my gosh, I like her second outfit a lot. Oh... The halter top and then the pants, that's very cute. Her first outfit is more boring, but it is inoffensive entirely. She gets to go into good. And then lastly for the flaunted line, we have Yasmin. Hmm. I really hate this second skirt. That's so ugly to me. I'm sorry. It's just... <sighs> yeah, this one is not giving me nearly as good of vibes as her original doll. That's going to go into questionable. Because I didn't hate, like, the outfit she had on, so I don't feel like it's bad enough to go any further down, but I'm not obsessed. Then we're moving on to the Funk and Glow line, starting out with Chloe. I don't know why I, like, didn't remember that I didn't like this one, but that was a pretty immediate negative reaction. Ugh. I don't know. I feel like none of it stands out in a good way, but some of it stands out in a bad way. Like... I don't know, that belt is, like, not something I like. I don't really like this jacket that's going on. I feel like this is going to be unpopular, but, like, literally every time I rank a Bratz doll negatively, I feel like it's going to be unpopular. I'm kind of scared of the Bratz fandom, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm sure most of you guys watching are perfectly nice, but also some Bratz fans are so intense, and it's, like, very scary. But I'm going to rank her in bad, but it gets worse. Then we have Jade from the same line much better. I love this. I think this is so fun. The top, I'm a little bit more iffy on, but I love these pants. They're just exciting and weird and interesting. And then it's hard to see, but her second pair of pants has fire on the bottom, which I am a fan of. Also, I think the jacket I like better because it doesn't have like the pink fur. I just didn't feel like that matched on the last one. She's good. And she's going to go into good. Next up is Megan... I just don't feel like these match super well. First of all, she has like a monkey on her jacket and I just don't really feel connected to monkeys. Like I don't love them. I don't think they're particularly cute. Her jacket's fine over here, but I don't know. I think she's going to go into questionable. She's like boring, teetering on maybe bad to me. Then we've got Sasha. I don't know how to feel. 
I know the quality is so bad sometimes. I'm so sorry. I like your hat. That's fun. Gosh, Brat's hats. I like that unlocked a memory for me. Oh my gosh. I definitely had like a secondhand Brat's hat. They were pretty cool. I think I like all of her pieces. I do feel like these pieces get reused at some point. So like none of it feels the most exciting, but I do like them. So I'm going to put her in just okay. Okay, then we've got Funk and Glow Yasmin. The only piece that I like is her halter top. Everything else is so boring to me. But it's not bad, so I guess she belongs in just okay. Okay, we've already moved past Flaunt It, now we are in Express It. So this is Express It Chloe. Wow. <laughs> I like her second pair of pants. I like the kind of gradient there, the fade, that's fine. I feel personally attacked by this long denim skirt with the lace cutout in the front. I can't explain to you why. It just feels so wrong. <laughs> She's going in bad, but it gets worse. Next up is Jade. I feel like Jade always gets cool pants. Like, these are interesting pants. And even her skirt looks like it might be snake print over here. I don't love either of the tops, though, and I don't like the hat that she has. I think we're going to put her in just okay. She gets to be just okay because I like the bottom half. <laughs> she also had a cool hairstyle. Then we have Megan, and I think this doll was one that recently got a reproduction. And again, it was one that I didn't like enough to buy, but I do think she's got some solid pieces. Like, her boots are actually so sick over here. I don't know if all of this was exactly what was included in the Megan reproduction, but I think, like, some of these look familiar, some of these pieces. I don't think she's, like, perfect, but I do think she deserves to be placed into good. Next up, we have Sasha here. Ooh, her whole first outfit is very cute. She looks good. Look at her makeup. I haven't been talking that much about the faces, but dang. I, I'm not obsessed with the second outfit. I think like the long skirts are kind of hard for me to like. Like I, I like maxi skirts that are like flowy. I like flowy skirts that are long, but I think tighter long skirts have to be executed in a certain way for me to like them. And I don't love that one, but her whole first look is so good that I can't really dock her too many points. She's going good. Then we have Yasmin here. Oh my gosh. Both of her shirts. This, this shirt, this is kind of like bluish one. That is so pretty. I want that really bad just to like restyle dolls with. And this one too is really cute. She's kind of the opposite of Jay where I don't love either of the bottoms or even either of the boots, but I do like the tops. So she's also going to go into just okay, even though I feel really strongly about the tops. Okay, moving on to formal funk, which is a line that I do like more, because like I said earlier, I kind of like the formal lines. I just think they're cute. It is hard to see in this photo what her first dress looks like, but it is kind of like a crop top and then a skirt. And then she's got this blue number going on. I love that these dolls came with two formal dresses. Like, this is just so iconic to me. And then all of the accessories. I think she gets to be the first one to go into perfect. I didn't expect that, but I have no complaints. So Dana, I have a little bit more to complain about. <laughs> I do think that she has a very sweet looking face. I don't know if I like the way the tiara was executed. Um, I don't mind the color of her first outfit. I think I don't like the fabric they chose for the skirt portion. I just don't love how that looks. But I do really like her second ensemble. That color is really pretty. I think the cut is really nice. So she gets to go into good, which is still a solid ranking. And then for Jade, hmm. I don't know if either of these feel like Jade. Not that I have, like, a super great grasp on their personalities, but Jade I always kind of associated as being, like, a little bit more alternative. I kind of like her first outfit, and I even kind of like the second one. I just don't feel super strongly about either. But I don't think they're bad at all. I think she's going to go into good as well. Next up is Sasha. Her first one, kind of, you know, whatever. Like, it's fine. Her second one... Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. Like, I like the color of this one. I just, I don't know about the execution. I think maybe if it weren't the crop top and the skirt, I would actually like this one better. 
Or is that just a belt? It's very hard to tell. I think it's cut. If it's not, let me know in the comments and I will admit that I was wrong. <laughs> but I love the gold one. That's really pretty. She gets to go into good as well. And then lastly for this line, we have Yasmin. I don't like this one as much. <laughs> I feel like the flowers could be cool and I do think that that kind of print was more thematic for the time period. But I'm just not as obsessed with it now. And the second outfit isn't really redeeming her for me. I don't hate it though. So I think I'm going to pop her into just okay. Next up we have Funk and Glow Chloe. And you might notice, hold on, Funk and Glow again? We already did this. But it's different. Were there two different versions of Funk and Glow? I'm extremely confused, but I've already prepped it in here. So even if this technically goes against the rules I set for myself earlier, I'm going to rank it. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a Pokemon game. Like, I've hurt myself in my confusion. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to just cut these out. I'm not going to put in the duplicate or, like, different versions, I guess, of Funk and Glow. I have no idea why I put these in to begin with. So it's going to make the video a little shorter. Sorry, but I, I don't want to rank them and end up ranking them differently because I'm confused. You know, like I feel like I was ranking the pieces differently because I was so baffled and I don't feel like that's a fair ranking. So anyway, this is Independence, Chloe, and then New Year's Eve, Yasmin, I believe. So starting with the Independence, Chloe, I have talked on occasion on this channel about how I don't really do um, patriotic anything but since we're specifically talking about dolls i'm not obsessed with like the patriotic themed dolls i always like try to not get too much into it when i mention that i don't like the super patriotic outfits because i don't intend to get super political on this channel most of the time like that's just not what i'm here for we're here to talk about dolls and have fun not politics but it kind of gives me bad vibes <laughs> i guess that's the best way to put it she's going and burn it <laughs> And then the New Year's Eve Yasmin, definitely much better. Uh, her fur coat, like her long fur coat, is kind of cool. I don't like her outfit she has on underneath it. But this dress, I love this dress. I think there was also a Chloe release that had this dress. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. So much. She's going into good because of that. Next up, we have the Slumber Party line. And this is hard, too, because I feel like... As I said earlier, I'm not obsessed with, like, pajama dolls, but the amount of accessories that these dolls got was so bonkers in the best way possible. Um, looking at Chloe here first. I know that, like, a lot of people, when they wear pajamas, myself included, they're not matching their tops and bottoms, but for a doll, I would kind of like to see the matching tops and bottoms, and I don't love that she doesn't have that. Because, like, the baby blue and the red is not really doing it for me. She's going to go into questionable. And then Jade. I do feel like her ensemble matches a little bit better. I don't feel a lot, but that's, again, just because I don't super vibe with Slumber Party dolls. So she gets to go into just okay. Then we've got Megan and Sasha from the same line. Again, I... I guess that monkeys are just like Megan's thing because I think they all had sort of an animal symbol. I just don't like it. So she is going to be going into questionable. Sasha though, head to toe yellow. She said, I'm going to match. I think she's got a rabbit. I feel like the long ears, it has to be a rabbit, right? Which I do find cuter than the monkey. I think she gets to go into just okay. Okay, then we have, oh, okay, so we have the Yasmin Slumber Party and then the Spring Fling Jade, I want to say. Yes, okay. Focusing first on this one. I like her frog stuffed animal. <laughs> like, that's cute. I just don't really care about any of the clothes. I'm sorry, she's going questionable. It's so hard for me to rank Slumber Party dolls because it's just like, I, I don't care. <laughs> uh, Spring Fling Jade, though. I kind of like the second outfit. It's not my favorite. 
And the first one, I just... She has to go into questionable. That's, like, the best that I could possibly rank her, I feel. Then we are moving on to Strut It. We've got three more lines, I think, to get through. So Strut It, Chloe, and then Jade. Chloe, I like her first top. That's it. <laughs> so she pretty automatically goes into questionable when I can find the questionable tier. She's not staying in perfect. Uh, Jade, I actively don't like. Maybe this second skirt could look cool, but I don't at all vibe with kind of the preppy feeling of the first outfit. Like, it's just, that's not what I wanted. It's just not working for me. So she is going to actually go into bad, but it gets worse. And then we can move you out of perfect because you definitely don't deserve to be up there. Next up, we have Megan and Sasha. I like Megan's first top, but again, I just don't like anything else. And I really actually don't like that second top. Maybe it looks good on her, but it's, it's not working for me here. So she is eventually also going to go into questionable. And then... This is definitely not as bad. I don't think I like this line a whole lot. But Sasha might be my favorite that I've seen so far. I do kind of like the fringe or like the ripped pieces she's got going with her denim skirt. I think she gets to make it all the way up to just okay. Okay, then we have the Yasmin from Strut It and then we have Sweetheart Megan. So Yasmin, okay. I think I like her just about as much as I liked Sasha. I like her whole second outfit. That's actually really cute. And she's got a nice little bandana. I think she is going to go into just okay when I can get there. <laughs> this is the hard part about doing like these rankings with so many dolls and I'm like trying to squeeze in as many as possible. Cause it's just, there's so many. <laughs> the tears get so full. Um, this also was one that was reproduced and I didn't get it cause I didn't really care for anything. I actually like Valentine's themed stuff. Like, I like the color palettes. I like all of the hearts and the sparkles and all of, like, the love. It's cute. But I just don't vibe with this one. I don't feel like it's Valentine's enough for me to like it. And I don't like the pieces individually. So she's going to go into questionable. And then we can move Yasmin down here into... Okay. Next up is Style It Chloe. Hmm. I feel nothing except for the fact that I don't like these little, like, leopard shoes she's got going on. So I think she kind of has to go into questionable. And then Dana. I don't like that. <laughs> Bad, but it gets worse. The Jade, I think, is better. Not really into her second outfit, but I like the plaid with the first outfit, and I like the flame motif. So I think she gets to go into just okay. I'm running out of room, but thankfully the video is almost over. Hopefully I can make it. Sasha. This feels more like clothing than I think Yasmin would wear. Because Yasmin kind of has like that flowy, flowery vibe a little more. Like they're not bad, but I don't think I liked them on Sasha as much. I don't know. I'm going to put her in questionable. Don't like Yasmin's. That jacket is haunting me. I don't, ooh, I don't like that at all. Um, that's going to go in bad, but it gets worse. <laughs> okay. Final line. Final line for this video, at least, I should say. We are in the Wintertime Wonderland line, and this is Chloe. Much like these Slumber Party dolls, I feel like these dolls came with so many accessories, and it was so impressive to me. It's just, it's so interesting because you don't see this now. Even with the Brat 3 Productions, like, you don't get all of the accessories, typically, that they came with. This is so impressive how much she has. I don't feel a ton about Chloe's outfit, or outfits, I guess I should say. Um, but she is going to go into just okay, because I definitely don't dislike it. Dana, okay. There's a lot happening here. <laughs> Not the best picture. It's very hard to see what's going on with her second outfit, so I'm not really going to judge that too much. Mm, I like the purple, but this particular material, I think there's just too much of it. Like, I think this would be cool if it was just the leg warmers in this material, but she's got a lot happening with it. I think she needs to go into just okay as well. And that's the last one I can reasonably fit, so 
We'll figure that out in a minute. Hopefully I won't have to. Jade. Okay. I can vibe with this. I like the coat she's got going on over here. I like the bag it looks like she has over here. Are those plaid pants? Oh my gosh, yes, with the fuzzy. Ooh, with the fuzzy on the bottom. I like that. Her first outfit I don't like as much, but her second outfit I'm really into. So thankfully, we get to put her into good <laughs> and not have to figure out just okay. Pressure's on, because Sasha and Yasmin, I don't have room for y'all in just okay. You better blow me out of the water here. This is cute. I like the green and the blue color scheme. That's nice. How nice, though. <laughs> See what I mean, though, with the leg warmers? I like them in that material, and I like that she doesn't have too much of it going on. I just think it looks better. I do like her jacket, and I think this is a little scarf over here. And it looks knitted. Like, that's pretty good. Okay. Maybe I'm biased because I don't want to have to figure out the just okay, but I think that Sasha deserves to go into good as well. And then finally, Yasmin. Yasmin, are you going to break the streak? I think she is, but in a bad way. <laughs> I don't think I love what's happening over here. Like, I think the turtleneck is cute, but I hate what's layered on top of it. And I don't like anything that she has on right now. I'm so sorry, Yasmin, but you're going to go into questionable. It's not the worst, but I don't think it's great, so... <laughs> Didn't have to figure out just okay, but sadly we had to add the questionable. But yeah, that is going to be the ranking. Wow. So this is maybe like slightly better than I expected in the sense that there are fewer that I actively really disliked than I expected, but it is very middle of the road. Like I feel like most sprats, I just, they're there, like they're fine. Oh, we have a decent amount in good, which is nice to see. And then the just okay tier is literally full. Because yeah, I just, I don't feel as though I feel super strongly about most brat stalls. Some of them are absolutely amazing. I don't think we got to that many in this first video, sadly. It's just Chloe up here alone and perfect. But I know there are other ones that we will get to eventually as I go through this series of ranking all the Bratz dolls that I do really like. And I do think sometimes Bratz knocked it out of the park and made amazing dolls. Most of the time, they were just kind of middle of the road for me, though, and you can pretty clearly see that in the distribution here of the tiers. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the ranking, I guess. So yeah, guys, that is going to be the video for today. As I said earlier, I would love to hear your thoughts about these dolls in the comments down below. I always kind of feel bad because when I do smaller ranking videos, I like to ask you guys what your ranking would be. But when it's so like big, when it's literally like I filled up an entire tier this ranking, and then obviously all the other tiers had a lot of dolls in them as well, I feel like it's so hard to ask you guys to rank them all. So you don't have to. If you do, I will read it and I will be very excited to hear your thoughts. But if you want to just kind of highlight your favorites and your least favorites and all of that jazz, Guys, definitely feel free in the comments. I'm very curious to see how y'all feel about these dolls. And obviously this was just part one, so eventually I will be getting to part two. I have so many videos that I want to make, so I can't promise that it will be like super quick, but part two will be coming. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely be looking forward to that. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I have my PO box, Amazon wishlist, Instagram, and TikTok in the description. So if you guys want to support me in other ways, you can definitely check those things out. But yeah, I hope y'all have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye guys.